Here we go, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us. A real quick look at silver futures. Great, great day for the silver guys. A uh, big explosion to the upside. I don't think we've seen that since uh, maybe back here uh, in the middle of part, middle of March. Okay. However, uh, not to be a wet blanket, but I think we can uh, watch for a better area to uh, scale in or take a potential. Uh, new position on silver, okay? And the reason being is that we have this long-term uptrend line going back to May of last year, end of May uh, 2022. And then as you can see, we have all this uh, resistance, 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 resistance through here. We couldn't get over and we're coming up into it again, okay? And then also our Patreon members know what this is, but this uh, uh, gray dash line that's a significant measured move uh, that we have, and that too is going to be resistance on silver. So around the 4540, maybe even up to 4550, uh, strong resistance area. Not that we can't, you know, break through it, you know, for some black swan event, you know, something happens in the world markets, but uh currently we're we're not looking to add to matter of fact we're going to be scaling out into this run uh the main reason being uh the, what i just told you the secondary reason being that we're getting far and away from the 20. the action starts in and around the 20 okay they won't tell you that but that's where it all starts that's where it ignites the price ignites either to the upside or downside is in and around the 20. that's where you want to enter uh, start scaling in uh, your positions either to the upside or downside. And then when the price starts getting far and away from the 20, that's when you want to start scaling out. Uh, not saying getting all the way out, but, you know, start taking those profits off the table. Okay. And uh, what else I need? To, okay. Now this previous resistance, we're going to make this blue for support and see if this area will help us. Okay. This was a uh, very long-term sideways consolidation zone, and then it ended up being an inside bar. Our Patreon members know what that is. And another little tip here, the longer you see sideways consolidation, just sit there and go, oh man, this is going to be epic, unbelievable, great. Because the longer this takes to work itself out, either to the upside or downside, that's the only way it has to go. You just sit on your hands and wait because the market will tell you what to do, okay? Broke to the downside, and like I was saying, is very powerful, strong, either to the upside or in this case, a downside. Had a, like a V shaped recovery, and here we are, okay? Getting a little, you know, long the two, so to speak, coming up to some uh, significant potential uh, resistance area, and then we will play the game again. And I'm trying to see anything else here. Yeah, we have uh, other measured moves up here as well when price starts. Uh, moving to the upside. But in the meantime, uh, if you want to learn how to do this, uh, just check out, first of all, just as a resume, check out our Twitter. Uh, you'll see dozens uh, going into probably uh, hundreds of timestamps don't lie, where we call the price, uh, call the charts, show you the path of the of the price. And, you know, it generally hits and does what we say it's going to do. And we have, as you, uh, if you followed us, you know, here on YouTube or Twitter, you know, we had this uh, uh, commodity game, you know, oil, natural gas unlocked, and of course, gold and silver. Uh, it, it hardly makes a move without us knowing and, and knowing where it's going to end up or come back to. But in the meantime, thank you for watching, and we will see you on the charts.